Muscle Owl Science Sundays with our secret scientist. How much promise does a teplacin have, and why do we think it works? Firstly, how effective might it be? Sraptor has shown that a teplacin restores dystrophin production in the muscles in boys with an amenable mutation. That's around 13% of DMD cases. However, we know that the restored dystrophin protein is incomplete. It's missing the portion deleted by the mutation and the skip exon. And no one is sure exactly how much functionality it will have. So what's happening? Sarapta has completed a phase 2b trial and a long follow-up. The company says that the drug is safe, that the boys on the trial stay on their feet longer and walk further in a 6 minute walk test than boys with similar mutations outside the trial. This sounds great, but we have to remember the trial is small, just 12 boys. And that makes it more difficult for Sarapta to prove conclusively that ateplacin works. So the company has already started a much larger phase 3 trial to generate that data. But that will take too long. What is the FDA waiting for? The FDA has to believe a drug is safe and effective before licensing it. We can't second guess the FDA, but this is probably not a run of the mill case. They are likely looking into the relationships between the drug and dystrophin, dystrophin and DMD, and the drug and DMD. What happens next? At the moment, we can only wait and see. The FDA hasn't turned down the application, so there's still hope Ateplacin might be approved to treat DMD sooner rather than later. But even if it is approved, we must remember that it still won't be 100%.